So you've been looking for a new set of wheels and you finally found the ones that you're happy with, but they're a little bit out of your budget. And you're thinking, maybe I can find a used set on the market. Today, we're gonna tell you the top five things that you need to look for when buying a used set of wheels. So before we get into this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe down below. Buying used wheels can be tricky, and we get it. Sometimes you can't afford a brand new set, but you can find really good deals on used wheels. And today we're gonna tell you some of the things you need to look for when buying a used set of wheels. So point number one is physical damage. You wanna look for any physical damage that's done on the wheel. That means you wanna check for bends, you wanna check for cracks, and they may require a little bit of inspecting. When looking for bends, check the outer rim of the wheel, just make sure everything is perfectly round. You wanna check both the front and the back of the wheel because although the front of the wheel may not have any, there might be some in the back. So just rotate that wheel around, get a good look at it, and see if there are any bends around the outer rim of the wheel. You also wanna check for cracks. Sometimes cracks are obvious and you'll be able to see them, but other times they could be hairline and the seller may not even know that they're trying to sell you a set of wheels that has cracks in them. A good tip is to always try buying wheels in the daytime and have a good source of light when inspecting the wheel and getting really up close. For more information, we did a full video on how to inspect your wheels. So the second thing you wanna look for when buying a used set of wheels is you wanna check for cosmetic damage. Now we already mentioned physical damage and one of the things I'm gonna mention kind of borderlines in between them. So the first one I'm gonna mention is curb rash. You wanna see if there's any curbing on your wheels. Uh, sometimes it could be as simple as it just took off some of the paint, but other times it could be as bad as you're missing chunks out of your wheel. So check for curb rash. You also wanna see how is the paint and how is the overall cosmetic of the wheel? Is there any corrosion on it? Is any of the paint chipping? Is the paint fading? Are there any scratches on it? If you go to look at a set of wheels and they look dirty, ask the seller if you have cleaning supplies on you. Maybe you can wipe them down to see how the paint actually is with no dirt on it or ask them before arriving if they could clean them for you or when you get there, if they can just wipe them down. So that way you can truly see if there's any cosmetic wear and tear on the wheel. So point number three is make sure that the wheels are the right specs for your car. You wanna make sure it's the right size, it's the right width, it's the right bolt pattern, has the right offset that you need, the right load rating, the proper center bore. And if you're planning to run a staggered setup, make sure the size is right for the front as well as the back. Sometimes making sure that the used wheel you're buying is the right spec for your car is as simple as looking at the back of the wheel and looking for any type of etching or writing that'll say what the specs of the wheel are. All of our Koenig Flowform line wheels have most of this information etched into the back of it. We have the diameter of the wheel, the offset, the width, and the bolt pattern. The load rating can also be found stamped in the back of the wheel. And if you need any more information, head over to our website. What do you do if the used wheels you're looking to buy doesn't have this information in the back of it? One of the best things you can do is test fit. Test fitting will tell you if the bolt pattern is proper for your car. It'll give you a much clearer picture on how the sizing of the wheel will look on your car, give you a visual idea on whether or not the offset works. It'll tell you if the center bore of the wheel is actually large enough to fit around your hub. And if it's too large, quick side note, make sure you put hovering in there because you don't wanna get wheel vibration. You could also go as far as actually measuring the offset on the wheel. And for more information on that, we did a full video on offset and backspacing, as well as a full video dedicated to just offset. Speaking of test fitting your wheels, that's gonna bring us into point number four, which is checking for clearance. Make sure it's clearing your brakes by mounting it, tightening one or two lug nuts down on it, and just rotate the wheel, see if it crashes on the caliper, either in the barrel of the wheel, or if any of the spokes hit. While the wheel is mounted to the car, see if it crashes against any suspension components. In the back of the car, it should be pretty straightforward, but when you get to the front of the car, just rotate the wheel left and right to see if it actually clears. And we've actually also done a video on how to test fit your wheels, so check that out for more information on how to test fit your wheels. You also wanna make sure that the wheel fits under the body of your car without having to do any crazy modifications, unless that's what you're looking to do. The final point, and point number five, is authenticity. Now, we're not talking about brand authenticity and replica wheels. What we're talking about is just making sure that the wheels are actually the wheels that the seller claims them to be. Checking authenticity is important because if you buy a wheel that's not actually what the seller claims it to be, it's gonna be a lot harder to find information on it. We can't tell you how many times somebody has sent in a photo of a wheel that they either bought or acquired and somebody stuck a Koenig center cap on it and we've had to respond like, hey, sorry, we don't know what wheel that actually is, but it's not the wheel that you're claiming it to be and we don't have any specs on it. So it's something that happens, it's something to be wary of. Make sure you're checking authenticity. So that's it for the top five things you need to consider when buying a used set of wheels. 
buying used wheels, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And we understand that sometimes buying used is much more cost effective than buying a brand new set of wheels. So we hope this information was helpful. If you liked this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next one.